to also maybe give myself some props. This is my third month, I believe. Let me think. Yeah, my third month sober without marijuana. <laughs> I am so anxious right now too, man. Like, this is a time where I would just love to smoke on my drive up. Because I just have so much stress, so much tension. And, like, I don't even like drinking, to be honest. So, like, I, can't, I don't even do that. I don't take pills. Like, that's just not my thing. But I am so stressed out and anxious. And I know it's fucking Christmas and I need to chill the fuck out. But I feel like, like, pressure 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 I gotta make up my mind what am I doing what am I doing what am I doing <laughs> it's like I'm going crazy I don't know my intuition keeps telling me to fucking take a jump to risk it and the worst that can happen is I fucking lose my security deposit and I have to fucking go somewhere else and put all my shit in storage like I got some friends that would take care of me and let me stay there for a little bit but I don't think I'm going to let that happen. I will not let that happen. Like, that's what I want to say. But sometimes I obsess over my fears so much that I make my fears my reality. And, like, I want to say that, like, even some of the bad shit that I enjoyed, like, my abusive relationship with the museum, like, I think that I actually enjoy like those kinds of relationships that's why I was in a domestic violent relationship twice and I think part of me enjoys that shit like I love the BDSM world I enjoy spankings and I enjoy being tied up I enjoy tying up others I love both sides of the spectrum and I love the people that have come into my life that have created that sacred space for me where we can explore those depths together. Now, don't expect to be doing any submissive shit with me. Like, I will not be your submissive at all. So, don't even try. In fact, I'll spit on you if you try. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, the dominant stuff, uh, it has been so therapeutic. And, like, what also is relieving for me is knowing how I can be that outlet for other people. Like, that they can trust me and, you know, I mess with your head as much as you like, basically. In a way that you like. And I also challenge my submissives. Like, I will not allow you to be weak. I am not like most dominants. I'm not going to fucking call you a loser unless you're being a loser and a jackass. Then I'll totally call you out. Or if you tell me that you like that stuff, then I'll be more accommodating to those things. But, eh, some stuff just isn't my cup of tea. Like, I'm not interested in pegging at all. I've probably said that like a thousand times. I do not want to peg you. I say no thank you. Now, maybe having my friend peg you and watch you and giggle, <laughs> that's a different story. There's other ways too, like I've talked to, uh, I believe it was Dominant Jade, or her boyfriend, and they were talking about like putting the strap on on the ground and making them fuck themselves. Like I don't know if it was them that actually said that, but I don't know if I want to do that either. But the crazy thing about like all this sexual stuff is like the level of uncomfortability that people feel about their sexuality. Like some of it seems like it's culturally, culturally and socially inflicted or like it's weird. It's like a, it's like it's both. Like part of the world is telling us to like be open and to show our skin and be sexy and then another part of the world is like conservative and like oh my god don't show skin it's for your husband only even then no 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 but then if you think about it literally almost every human being on this planet wouldn't be here without sex and yet everybody's weird about it 
Like, that's what gives you life. That's why you're here. Literally why you're here or how you're here. Uh, I also have, like, this thing that's, like, pressing on me all the time. And it's about me leaving the world with something for when I'm not here. And for some people, they create children. And then you leave us, the world, with your children that greatly influence and make changes and sometimes um, inspire us what we don't want and the boundaries we need to create for ourselves and things like that. So not, I don't believe in good or bad. It's now appropriate or inappropriate. I feel my stress slowly lowering, but I'm definitely dehydrated and I need more water. My nose finally stopped running, so that's good. But I'm still a little bit anxious. I kind of want something sweet, but that'll probably, like, give me more anxiety. I want to know something else that I have to, like, empath empathize or em emphasize. Emphasize. I think that's it. That's, that's probably more right. So, something that you guys probably take for granted, if you have this freedom, is, like, imagine having a whole empty fridge or kitchen, and it's all yours. Like... Living with somebody else and the whole kitchen situation, like, it can be good sometimes because, like, yeah, you can eat, like, if they're cool, you can have their food. But then, like, on the other side of the spectrum, doesn't it suck, like, when you go in the fridge and then, like, something that you bought isn't there because they ate it? And then, like, another thing that I'm dealing with is, like, I'm trying to eat better, but basically they eat really bad at my house. Like, they eat lots of sugar, Fruit Loops, Pop Tarts, Animal Crackers, Oreos, like all the things a kid could ever fucking want. And it just is so bad for me because sometimes I have horrible self restraint and I want all the cookies. <laughs> Sometimes I totally have age regression and I turn into such a little girl and I get bouncy and I get happy and I want sugar and I like little cute little girl clothes and comfortable blankies and stuffed animals and cuddles. <laughs> but then another part of me is like naughty and I like dirty bad things you could say. Like sometimes I want to put you in a cage and watch you smile from your cage. <laughs> Sometimes I kind of even want you to even beg to get out of your cage so you can come be with me or go outside and play. I enjoy all the levels of psychology of that stuff too. I find it pretty fascinating and it almost makes you want to finish psychiatry, which is what I originally started going to school for, psychiatry with holistics. But now I'm like so interested in all these other things. Like, I really, really love a lot of things that work under the belt of massage therapy. And it's like, I have to do that if I want to do the other stuff, legally anyway. So that kind of blows. And it'd be nice to have like a scholarship or maybe someone out there that would love to fund that journey, okay? Hey, you miss all the shots you don't take, right? We'll give massages for three years in exchange for that degree. Only rule applies is no happy endings. You can finish yourself when I'm out of the room. <laughs> uh, I'm trying so hard to manifest what I want, but uh, another problem I'm having is I'm struggling to basically manifest anything else because like I boxed myself in with this place Like I'm really obsessive about this place. Like maybe I won't stay there. That's maybe that's what happens I don't know what happens and that also kind of drives me crazy But I like the idea of this being my place for a while Like if I had my way like that would be my place for a while and I would maybe have another place eventually where like I'm by the ocean but I really have to like get out more but my schedule is also so tight right now so like I don't really have time to do anything 
I barely have time to update my online bullshit. And that's frustrating because that's like my main source of income right now. But I can only say thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you because this journey would not be as great as it is without your help. And I know not everyone can afford the $99 a month, but I know that a lot of my members on there are happy. Some of them are pissed off because they want to see more in almost pornographic content, but I'm choosing not to go that way with my image. This seems like a good appropriate time to mention my webcam days. I totally did webcam, and I feel like I might have mentioned that before with the Cyberstalker, and that's how he found me. But I just don't want to do that anymore, and I never want to do that again. And honestly, because I made such great money doing that, it's made it pretty difficult to do other things. Like, and honestly, the way I got out of that business is I took all the money I made and I bought my mermaid tail. And Mertailer and a lot of people in the mermaid industry know that, which is why I'm kind of like an outcast in mermaid, because they don't believe that I should be allowed to work with children if I have worked for Playboy and done things like that. And that kind of breaks my heart because that is my favorite part of interacting as like someone that was abused and has been through like a lot of shit. I love to help children get lost in the land of make-believe and make them happy. And most of all, they're the ones who seem to appreciate my magic more than anybody. Like how natural I look underwater and I just love the energy from kids and I love kids so much. I cannot wait to have children. I have been tweeting about that a lot. I want a little boy and a little girl. I want both. But I have to get myself in a space where I can take care of myself and I refuse to basically milk the government and uh, fund my kids that way. Like I, I can't live that way. I really want to give my kids a great fucking life. And I know there's a lot of single moms who are doing that and there's no hatred or anything negative towards them. But I just personally choose to give my kids something so much more or like I want to be in a position to be able to and be a great mom, be there for them, love them, take care of them, comfort them. And I want to not spoil them, but I also want them to be totally prepared for the world. You know, I don't want to lie to them and comfort them and try to protect them from every little thing because then they won't know how to deal with it when I'm not around. So that's a concern also. Now, I'm sorry, I don't really know the limit here, but I'm getting at 13 minutes, so I gotta cut this video again because I have no idea, but...